How will LA's skyline change over the coming decade? Will it continue to push to new heights? These are the 10 tallest buildings currently proposed as of 2020. This list only includes proposed buildings and not buildings under construction at the time of posting. Starting at numbers 10 and 9 are the 6am towers. These towers are part of a massive development by Herzog and Demirin, and it would transform LA's art district with its unprecedented height for the area. There's expected to be over 1,300 rental apartments, 431 condos, 510 rooms in two hotels, retail, office, and school space. The 258-story residential towers would be located at one end of the development, with the rest being a grid of residential, hotel, and office space above a retail podium. The design is intended to be as authentic as possible to the industrial nature of the area. If the ambitious project goes according to plan, it would not be complete until 2035, with the first phase opening in 2025. At number 8 is the Olympic Tower. This is certainly an interesting one. It's located in the South Park neighborhood of downtown LA. The exoskeleton of the building would allow it to be column free, giving space for a 28-story atrium housing this vertical urban garden. According to the architect, Nardi Associates, the 58-story iconic building is designed as a monumental urban tree, where real vegetation is combined with digitized landscape and graphic art images, growing along its structural grid contained within its double glass surfaces. The mixed-use tower will also have hotel, offices, retail, and residential, including 374 condos and 373 hotel rooms. The building would be 225 meters tall, or 740 feet, and it could open by 2023. Not far away and staying in the South Park neighborhood of downtown LA is number 7, Olympic and Hill. Proposed by the Canadian developer Ani, this development would see 700 condos and commercial space at the base. The building, and more specifically the crown, has already gone through a number of revisions since it was first proposed in 2017. In 2017 it was a shorter 48-story tower. In 2018 it moved to a more boxy design but taller and in 2019, wavy elements were introduced. The balconies have also gone from straight lines to a wavy appearance. If this proceeds, it could open by 2022. Number six is Fifth and Hill in the Pershing Square area of LA. Jenga design seems to be a trend these days, and hopefully I can do another video on that at some point. The building starts as a plain box and gets more Jenga-y as you move up the tower. And yes, those Jenga pieces are actually cantilevered swimming pools. 12 large private glass bottom pools to be exact, with the others being smaller lap pools. Altogether, the building will have 31 condos and 190 hotel rooms. The 53-story tower is 241 meters or nearly 800 feet. It was approved in 2019 and will complete in 2023 if all goes well. Number 5 is 1045 Olive Tower, another development located in the South Park area of downtown LA. This 70-story tower would reach 247 meters or 810 feet. Near the top of the building is a large cutout which will have a pool and open outdoor space providing amenities to the nearly 800 condos. The building also features cantilever wraparound balconies. If construction begins soon, it will finish by 2023. Number 4 is Angel's Landing. The design was one of three submitted by different developers. The final design chosen was originally envisioned to be LA's new tallest skyscraper at 311 meters or 1,020 feet. But as of 2019, it has since been slimmed down to two towers of 260 meters or 852 feet and 165 meters or 542 feet. It will have two five-star hotels with 500 rooms combined, plus 180 condos and 261 apartments at both market and non-market rates. Since the changes to this proposal have been significant, it's not expected to complete until 2028. And number three is the Olympia Tower development. The tallest of three towers in this project will be 65 stories with a height of 260 meters or 853 feet. A single podium will connect all three towers. The full mixed-use development will include office and retail plus 879 condos and 1,000 hotel rooms. The plan envisions communal open spaces connecting the surrounding South Park neighborhood. The development was approved to proceed in 2019 with a possible completion of 2023. The three towers would be built in one phase. Number two is Figueroa Center. Next to the historic 94-year-old Hotel Figueroa in downtown LA, 
The other side of this hotel will be occupied by the 8th spot on this list, the Olympic Tower, so it's certainly going to be a busy block. A 10 story glass atrium would help connect the building at street level. It will be one of the tallest in LA, at nearly 300 meters or 975 feet. The tower is proposed to open by 2023. Finally in the top spot of currently proposed LA skyscrapers is 333 South Figueroa. When finished, it will become not only the tallest in Los Angeles, but the entire western United States, west of the Mississippi. The 77 story tower would have 242 condos and 599 hotel rooms, in addition to converting the 13 story LA Grand Hotel next door into a further 224 condos. As far as I can tell, the proposal has not been fully approved, so it remains to be seen if it will go through more design changes or even proceed at all. If it does go to plan, it would be opened by 2025. So those are the current tallest proposals in LA as of 2020. Of course, any one of these could face complications in the coming years due to economic uncertainties. Regardless, I think Los Angeles has a tall future in the coming decade. Thanks for watching. This is part of a new series on new development and proposals around the world. If you enjoyed it, please let me know your feedback. And of course, like and subscribe to see more videos soon.